You may be seated. Good evening. I am Dr. Byers, Department Chair and Program Director of the Dental Hygiene Program at Bristol Community College. It is my pleasure to welcome you to the annual Bristol Community College Dental Hygiene Program Pinning Ceremony. On behalf of the dental hygiene faculty and, stu and students, I extend greetings to our distinguished guests here on the stage, other members of the faculty, administration, and staff who are in the audience, parents, spouses, children, relatives, friends, and BCC dental hygiene alumni. I'm going to like to introduce our platform members. I will start with Ms. Jane Horowick, our clinical instructor. <laughs> Renee Horton, a clinical instructor. <laughs> Ms. Bonnie Wolf Collins, clinical instructor. <laughs> Ms. April Lavoie, clinical instructor. Ms. Pamela Culinary, clinical instructor. <laughs> Professor, Professor Patricia Willard, radiography coordinator. <laughs> Professor Joanne Clancy, freshman clinical coordinator. <laughs> Professor Tricia Cloutier, sophomore clinical coordinator. Dr. John Spraga, President of BCC. <laughs> Ms. Patricia Dent, Dean for Health Sciences. <laughs> Ms. Lynn Broder, Associate Dean for Health Sciences. <laughs> Ms. Christine Bishop Chapman, Past Director of the Dental Hygiene Program. Ms. Bernice Festoso, past director of the Dental Hygiene Program. <laughs> Ms. Kelly Brennan, co-chair of the Southeastern Massachusetts Dental Hygienists Association. <laughs> Ms. Janessa Moniz, co-president of the BCC Dental Hygiene Alumni Association. Ms. Priscilla Wicks, co-president of the BCC Dental Hygiene Alumni Association. <laughs> Ms. Bonnie Heap, representative to the Sigma Phi Alpha National Dental Hygiene National Honor Society. <laughs> Ms. Ms. Sue Parent, clinical instructor. <laughs> Mr. Greg Safaris, vice president of academic affairs. Mr. Tafa Awashalaju, Vice President of Human Resources and Affirmative Action. <laughs> Ms. Sally Cameron, Vice President for College Communication. <laughs> Dr. Rhonda Gabovich, Vice President of Institutional Research Planning and Assessment. <laughs> Ms. Kathleen Torpe Carganta, Vice President for Enrollment Services. Mr. Steve Kenyon, Vice President for Administration and Finance. <laughs> Ms. Elizabeth McCarthy, Vice President for Resource Development. <laughs> Mr. Steve Ozog, Vice President for Preparedness, Compliance, and Students. <laughs> Ms. Joanne Pelletier, Vice President for Information Technology Services. Dr. Mitchell Block, uh, Dr. Mitchell Block, clinic dentist. <laughs> Dr. James Goff, clinic dentist. <laughs> Dr. Les Passad, clinic dentist. <laughs> Ms. Arlene Alves, clinical instructor. <laughs> Ms. Hilda Miguel Hayes, clinical instructor. <laughs> Ms. Mary Ellen Simus, clinical instructor. I would like to invite 
all the members of the Vice President Councils to please stand to be recognized. In the front row. I would also like to acknowledge those dental hygiene faculty members not present tonight. They are Ms. Joyce Moore, clinical instructor, Ms. Deborah Piscopio, clinical instructor, Ms. Jacqueline Ventura, clinical instructor, and Dr. Pavo, clinic dentist. I would also like to acknowledge our professional staff, Ms. Sandra Atkins and Ms. Anne Marie Reed. Um, I would like for um, President Jack Spraga to bring greetings from the college. Thank you. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to Bristol Community College. It's a wonderful evening tonight as we celebrate our most important product at uh, BCC, and that is student success. So on behalf of all of you and all of the college, I'd like to congratulate uh, the graduates and uh, on their hard work, and uh, I wish them well in the future. They are members of our BCC family. I want you to know that you can always rely on us for uh, support. Uh, any resources that you need, you always have a place to come. And I know you've benefited from the great expertise that you've already encountered here at BCC through your career. On behalf of the graduates, I would like to thank uh, the support network that the graduates had at home or elsewhere in the neighborhoods and community of uh, parents and uh, guardians and loved ones and uh, uh, all kinds of people who helped uh, put them through uh, their paces as they had to uh, uh, move, move through this rigorous curriculum. And I know they're very grateful to you uh, for all that you have shown to them. And also I want to thank the faculty and staff uh, uh, throughout the program uh, who have brought these students, uh, pulled them and pushed them and dragged them in some cases, but uh, finally to the finish line. And it's a success and I know you're very grateful for all that they did uh, for you. Uh, I just want to finish by saying that uh, you have set um, a great model uh, for our uh, students, our other students, not just necessarily health students, uh, uh, through your distinctive garb uh, and your uh, uh, study groups, endless study groups, and requesting extra time in labs and, uh, and study halls uh, to move forward with the curriculum. And that wears off on the other students at the college as well. And I hope it wears off on the first year uh, students as well. Uh, also, uh, their neighbors, uh, uh, they have seen you, uh, I say neighbors, people in the community that you have never really, uh, you may not even know some of them but they watch you coming through snow, through sleet, through thunderstorms and nice beach weather with books under your arm and coming here instead. And uh, that wears off. People say, well, they're, they must be doing something very important and I might look into it myself. So I thank you for setting the example for all the rest of us through your hard work. And there are little ones here tonight and they'll never forget this night. And it's important to start the cycle of education the importance of education uh, for them. So I thank you for that as well. And to the freshmen, I wish you well uh, as you move through. Uh, partly done, right? Uh, and uh, this is a great uh, opportunity for you. I hope it's a motivator. I love this uh, ceremony where you sit and participate and see what's coming next and uh, kind of gives you extra energy to move forward. Uh, and uh, it's, a great, it's a great program, as you know, and I wish you well. We'll be seeing you next spring, right? Okay. Well, thank you very much, everyone. And uh, again, we can't say uh, enough congratulations to the graduates. Good luck to you in your future, and you always have a home here. Thank you. Thank you, President Sprager, for those kind words. Next, I'd like to invite Dean Dent, Dean for um, Health Sciences, to bring greetings from the Division of Health Sciences. Good evening, everyone. On behalf of Associate Dean Broder and myself, welcome to the pinning ceremony for the graduates of the Dental Hygiene Program Class of 2016. 
Each May, I have the honor and privilege of welcoming you to this wonderful celebration of their achievements and the dedication of these dental hygiene students. It is fitting that they are surrounded by the faculty who have guided and mentored them, their family, friends, and loved ones. For it is all of you who have supported their efforts to become the dental hygiene healthcare professionals you see on this stage tonight. Daily, they are also helped by two people who ensure that our dental hygiene clinic runs smoothly and efficiently, Sandy and Anne Marie. And to the administration, board of trustees, and BCC Foundation, thank you for all you do for us, ensuring that our students are prepared in laboratories and on equipment to prepare them for clinical practice. Thank you all for what you have done to help these graduates through this very rigorous program. Graduates, let's give everyone a round of applause. Perhaps because I see these students the most, I have the opportunity to witness them grow into the healthcare professionals they were meant to be. From taking x-rays on Dexter, the mannequin, to confidently performing bite wings and panoramic x-rays on their patients. From treating one another to treating increasingly complex patients with multiple pathologies. This progression does, of course, prepare them for the anxiety-provoking CDCA ADEX exam, but more importantly, for their critical role of dental hygienists who will promote oral health. These students are servant leaders whose service puts the word community into community college. This year alone, they have provided over 2,500 treatments to members of the community. Here are some other examples of what they did to promote the health and well-being of each person that they see. They presented their research at the dental hygiene table clinics. They coordinated and ran the fourth annual 5K race. They participated in the free dental screening clinic for seniors sponsored by the Attleboro Council on Aging. Just a few of many examples of what they do day to day. In accepting their pins tonight, they publicly acknowledged their responsibility as healthcare professionals dedicated to promoting health and wellness. They are to be lifelong learners in the art and science of dental hygiene. Graduates, let ethics guide your journey. Provide the best of care. Be kind and compassionate to others and to yourself. And stay involved with BCC and your alumni and professional organizations. Welcome to the healthcare team and have a wonderful walk in the joy of service to others. Congratulations, Dental Hygiene Class of 2016. Thank you, Dean Dent, for those kind words. In most programs in the dental hygiene, uh, dental hygiene programs throughout the country, it's usually the graduating class that is honored at a pinning ceremony. But it has been tradition in the dental hygiene program to honor both classes on this special evening. The freshman students have successfully completed two semesters of demanding coursework. This is why we feel that they should be recognized and honored as well. When freshmen enter into the program, he or she receives a sophomore mentor whose responsibility includes reaching out with support and guidance. Each freshman student will be individually honored 
by being called to the front of the stage by Professor Joanne Clancy, freshman clinical coordinator, where she will be presented with a certificate of completion of the first academic year by his or her sophomore mentor. Professor Clancy. Amanda Pagarna. <clears throat> Denise Camara. Melissa Cody. <laughs> Jessica DiCarlo. Jamie Garrity. <laughs> Mallory Ledegar. Caitlin Machado. <laughs> Shannon Manning. <laughs> Christine McCarney. Alisa Medeiros. <laughs> Samantha McTivia. Sydney Al Allroyd. Mary Reese. Rosalinda Sarr. Congratulations to the first class on their completion of their first year, and congratulations to the grads. To express their commitment to the profession of dental hygiene, both classes will stand to recite the oath 
for dental hygiene, which is on the front page of the program. All dental hygienists here this evening are also invited to renew their oath. Professor Patricia Willard will lead us in the dental hygiene oath. Okay, if you'd like to stand. In my practice as a dental hygienist, I perform my commitment to improve the oral health of the public, to advance the art and science of dental hygiene, and to promote high standards of quality care. I pledge continually to improve my professional knowledge and skills, to render a full measure of service to each patient entrusted in my care and to uphold the highest standards of professional competence and personal conduct in the interests of the dental hygiene profession and the public it serves. Thank you, Professor Willard. Now we come to the primary reason for this ceremony, the pinning of the graduates. The, graduate, the graduating students have had a challenging second year in the program. In addition to their coursework, both in classroom and clinic requirements, they have collectively maintained a 3.5 grade point average. That's great. For this honor, in addition to their pens, each sophomore will receive a dental hygiene honor cord to wear at commencement. Sophomore students engaged in undergraduate research, which included the Cultural Diversity Report, a periodontal research paper, table clinics, community oral health research projects. They demonstrated competency both clinically and, and of the overall program goals to completion of the portfolio project. They also need to complete the National Dental Hygiene Board Examination, the, CD, the CDCA ADEX Clinical Regional Board Exams, and the CDCA Regional Board and Local Anesthesia. These exams are required for licensure. The class of 2006 has, to the 2016 has completed over 16,000 hours of surface learning and has donated an equivalent over 175,000 dollars of dental hygiene services to our community. That's great. I mean For their outstanding contribution and civic engagement, the class of 2016 has been awarded by President Obama the Service Learning US Presidential Recognition Award of Civic Engagement. These graduates truly deserve the honor of wearing their professional pin, which indicates they have graduated from an accredited dental hygiene school from Bristol Community College. Professor Cloutier, sophomore clinical coordinator, will read the names of each student to the front of the stage, and Dr. Dr. Spraga will offer congratulations to the students. Jessica Blanchard. <laughs> Catherine Bouchard. Abigail Duncan. <laughs> P. 
Paige Ferrara. Danielle Gauthier. Kristen Harrison. Kendra and Stacy. Lindsay Lees. <laughs> Elizabeth Little. Jennifer Matisse. <laughs> Mariner Men. Samantha Pixley. <laughs> Rachel Quigley. And ready. <laughs> Sean Rocha. Kylie Salva. <laughs> Lee.
Leah Schuler. Alicia Vincent. <laughs> Tasha Young. Congratulations to the class of 2016. The program is fortunate to have an association with a number of professional organizations in the community as well as throughout the country. Some of the organizations support the program by presenting monetary awards, plaques, or certificates to the students. The award given tonight are chosen by students, faculty, or determined by the students' grade point averages. The first award given tonight is the Southeastern Massachusetts Dental Hygienist Association. The American Dental Hygienist Association is our national profession organization for dental hygienists. The Massachusetts Dental Hygiene Association is a part of the ADHA. The local component is the Southeastern Massachusetts Dental Hygienist Association. The Southeastern Massachusetts Dental Hygiene Association provides hygienists with the opportunity to participate in professional activities such as continuing education courses, which are necessary for continued licensure, opportunities for networking and keeping current with the changes within the profession. Kelly Brennan, co-chair of the Southeastern Massachusetts Dental Hygienist Association, will present two different awards tonight. The first is a monetary award given to a freshman student who has the highest grade point average. It is my honor to give this award to Jamie Garrity. The second award, a one-year membership to the American Dental Hygienist Association, given to a graduating student who has shown commitment to the profession by being actively involved in the student chapter of the American Dentist, Dental Hygienist Association. This award is presented to Elizabeth Little. Thank you, Kelly. The next awards will, pre will be presented from the BCC Dental Hygiene Alumni Association. We are very, very fortunate to have the support of these dedicated professionals who have continued commitment to the program. The Alumni Association sponsors continuing education programs for the alumni, one for which is the Table Clinics um, presented this fall. Awards are presented to second year students based on their research project, projects. Ms. Janessa Monas and Mrs. Priscilla Wicks, co-presidents of the BCC Dental Hygiene Alumni Association, will present these awards in honor, of the, in honor of the dental hygiene faculty members at Bristol Community College to our um, profession of dental hygiene. Janessa, Priscilla. The Dr. Joseph Siegel Award is given to a freshman student. Dr. Siegel was a faculty member who provided guidance and expertise to students during the first 15 years of the program. The award is to a freshman student selected by his or her peers who exemplifies the characteristics they deem to be most admirable in a fellow professional. The recipient is Denise Kamara. The second award is the Dr. Francis Wirtz Award. 
Dr. Wirtz was the program director for many years here at BCC. This award is presented to a graduating student selected by his or her peers who exemplifies the characteristics they deem to be the most admirable in a fellow professional. The recipient is Alicia Vincent. The third award is the Professor Bernice Fastoso Award. Professor Fastoso dedicated many years to this program and retired as program director in 2002. This award is selected by the faculty and is presented to a graduating student who exemplifies professionalism. The recipient is Kristen Harrison. Thank you, Janessa and Priscilla. Our next award is the Sigma, Alpha, uh, Sigma Phi Alpha is a National Honor Society of Dental Hygiene Profession and chapter of the Society at BCC is Beta Beta Chapter. The purpose of the Sigma, the Sigma Phi Alpha is to promote, recognize, and honor scholarship, service, and character among students and graduates of, of dental hygiene. These characteristics contribute to the improvement of the profession and to a greater recognition of its role in the health professions. To be elected to the Sigma Phi Alpha is an honor and a privilege. Scholastic achievement is the criterion. I'd like to welcome Bonnie Heap, representative from the Sigma Phi Alpha Beta Beta Chapter, to present these awards. Sigma Phi Alpha is the National Honor Society of the Dental Hygiene Profession. And here at BCC, it's known as the Beta Beta Chapter. Um, Sigma Phi Alpha strives to stimulate scholarship, professional accomplishment, and exemplary service in order to enhance the profession's role in the delivery of quality health care, thus contributing to the advancement of the dental hygiene profession. Tonight we are inviting two graduating students with the highest grade point average to join this prestigious organization. They are allowed to wear the Sigma Phi Alpha stole at this ceremony and at their graduation ceremony. Please join me in congratulating Karina Oliveira. Okay. And Leah Schuler. I also serve as the BCC Dental Hygiene Alumni Association Treasurer, and this part of the ceremony is my favorite because it's our way of giving back all these continuing education courses that we offer to dental hygiene graduates. The money that we raise, we give back to the Dental Hygiene Association. And since we started um, doing continuing education in 1986, we have given back we're almost to $100,000. So it gives me great pleasure tonight to present Lynn with a check for $3,000. next award we're going to be presenting is, um, and the BCC Dental Hygiene Program Award is given in honor of Ms. Christine Bishop Chapman, who was the program director for many years at BCC. To present this award is Ms. Bonnie Wolf Collins.
The Christine Bishop Chapman Award recognizes a student who excelled in education and health promotion and disease prevention, particularly related to the Community Oral Health Project. This individual demonstrated professionalism and also had active participation in the student chapter of the ADHA BCC Dental Hygiene Club. The recipient is Sean Rocha. Okay. The Award for Clinical Excellence is sponsored by Hugh Freedy Instrument Company. The, to present this award is Ms. Suzanne Parent. The Hugh Freedy Instrument Company awards this to a graduating dental hygiene student who exhibits exemplary clinical skills. It is my very fond pleasure to award this to Kendra Instasi. The next award is the Student Total Achievement Recognition Award. It's sponsored by Colgate Oral Pharmaceuticals. To present this award is Ms. April Lavoie. Colgate Oral Pharmaceuticals recognize the stars among dental hygiene students. The acronym STAR means Student Total Achievement Recognition. This award is presented to the graduating dental student, dental hygiene student who demonstrated true dedication to the dental hygiene profession, exhibits compassion in patient care, displays enthusiasm for community service, and enjoys the role of the dental hygienist. The recipient is Abigail Duncan. The Faculty Award for Excellent in Patient Education is going to be presented by Ms. Renee Horton. This award is presented by faculty members to a graduating student for excellence in patient oral health care education. The recipient is Karina Oliveira. Karina was unable to be with us this evening, and we will present this award to her at a later date. Thank you. The next award is Excellent in Dental, Hy in Dental Hygiene Award. It's sponsored by Johnson & Johnson Healthcare Products. To present this award is Ms. Pamela Culinary. Good evening. This award is presented to a graduating student who shows outstanding clinical expertise, education in health promotion, disease prevention, and recommends clinical researched oral hygiene care products. The recipient is Rachel Quigley. Recognition awards for the student chapter of the American Dental Hygienists Association will be presented by Professor Tricia Cloutier, the club advisor. BCC Dental Hygiene Club is the student chapter of our professional organization, the American Dental Hygienists Association. Four officers represented and led the class of 2016 in many community outreach events on and off campus. 
they also planned and participated in fundraising activities that enabled their peers to attend professional meetings. It was my pleasure to work with this whole group, and it is my pleasure to take this opportunity to recognize the following individuals. Treasurer Jennifer Matisse, Secretary Leah Schuler, <laughs> Co President Catherine Bouchard. And last but not least, co-president Sean Rocha. I'm going to invite the co-presidents, Catherine and Sean, to present the class gift. Good evening. My name is Sean Rocha. And I'm Catherine Bouchard. We are the co-presidents of the BCC's Dental Hygiene Class of 2016. Tonight, we recognize and celebrate not only the accomplishments of the graduating class, but also the hard work and dedication of the faculty who got us here. Thank you so much for your help, kind words, and motivational speeches that kept us going during these long years. It has truly been a remarkable journey with you. We began dental hygiene school with expectations, perceptions, plans, and goals from the very start that have changed drastically over time until this very point. We entered the program ready to become teeth cleaners and evolved into oral health and gum disease prevention specialists who all share the same goal to provide and maintain optimal oral and overall health to all patients. I believe that we can all say that these past two years have been the hardest of our lives. We have spent hundreds of hours with our heads crammed into textbooks studying. We have also spent hundreds of hours in the clinic. In the beginning, we stressed over little things. We stressed over little things like proper hand washing techniques or putting your mask on before you put your safety glasses on. We then moved on to having real patients. All 20 of us questioned how could we have three patients a week. Finally, by the end, we mastered having six patients a week. So not only were we stuttering for our class material, but we were also managing our own clinical schedules. We had a constant reminder from our instructors saying that you will get through this. Realizing that, made, that we had made it this far, no, there was no way that any of us would let each other quit now. We had spent many hours with each other, not only classmates, but this includes faculty also. No one said that we had to be friends, but I am glad that I got to spend these two years with such an amazing group of people. As quoted from one of my professors, no one will understand what you just went through besides another dental hygienist. Without a doubt, I honestly believe this. Myself and the other 19 other individuals up here with me have created such an amazing bond. I, along with all my other classmates, would like to thank all of you, not for only coming out here tonight, but for also being a patient in our clinic. <laughs> As I'm sure that most of you found ways out of your busy lives to do us this favor. Although I'm sure that you probably don't recognize us without our green scrubs on. And to our family and friends, we also thank you for not only sitting in our chairs in the clinic for hours, but supporting us and understanding when we went missing, locked up studying and writing papers for weeks and couldn't make it for our usual dinner and drink dates. <laughs> this class has shown so much hard work and dedication, but know this, the journey doesn't end here. This is now an endless amount, there is now an endless amount of paths that lay before us waiting to be discovered. Each individual will now embark on a new adventure with unknown outcomes and endless possibilities. The career of dental hygiene is ever-changing and evolving. Some may even look at us and see us as small drops in the ocean. However, I see much more and know that we will create waves. This year, on behalf of Bristol Community College's Dental Hygiene Club, we would like to present Dr. Lynn Byers with a check for $1,000 for any equipment needed in the brand new dental hygiene clinic opening up this fall. 
With the opening of the new building coming soon, Dr. Byers will have these funds that were raised by the Dental Hygiene Club to support and better the amazing operations and services that the present and any future students of dental hygiene can use for patient care. Thank you so much to everyone who has joined us tonight and made this a truly special day. Thank you so much. I'd like to thank the freshman students for hosting a wonderful luncheon to the graduating students and faculty with a Lewis luncheon theme. I'd also like to thank the support of the BCC Dental Hygiene Alumni Association, the Southeastern, Dental, Southeastern Massachusetts Dental Hygienists Association, the Sigma Phi Alpha National Honor Society faculty, professional staff, and administration. More honors will be awarded to our students tomorrow evening when the college hosts their 2016 Student Awards Night. We invite all of you to attend. The BCC Dental Hygiene Alumni Association and the Southeastern Massachusetts Dental Hygienists Association invites all of you to a reception in the brick area to celebrate this wonderful evening and to congratulate your students. In closing, I would like to quote my favorite saying by Eleanor Roosevelt. The future belongs to those who believe in the beauty of their dreams. I wish you the best wishes and congratulations. Thank you for all of your hard work. Thank you too. <laughs> Thank you too. I'm gonna ask that you let the students walk out first and then you could follow them at the area to, to deserve the refreshment and the receptions. Thank you. <laughs>